we go, welcome back everybody. Just let me know if you can hear me. Apologies, we've had all sorts of trouble. The internet dropped and then the laptop crashed. So, double the fun. Fortunately, we missed qualifying. And we've joined the race on lap 4 of 29. Cyber leads the way from Maggot. Gap is 9 tenths of a second. Having a look at the tyre situation, looks like a majority of the field is on the medium compound. I think it's just three cars on the hard. No one choosing to start on the soft. Cyber leads from Maggot, Moller making up the top three. Poinkies on the verge of those podium positions. Andres and the only Ferrari in P5. We have the first of the two Mercedes chums, P6. It's a P7. In the second, McLaren, his teammate up in the lead. It's Cyber. Maggot just behind, still within DRS. Moller P3 starting to fall off that DRS, and that could be crucial. It's followed closely by Boinkies. Further back. In the field, Rockstar <clears throat> must have had an incident. Tiley Boy P14. Seems like Welsh is out of the race. Seems like he's ghosting. Seems like that horse is also ghosting. Acid Milk. Ooh, and we caught the Acid Milk at the wrong moment. Spinning off the track there, the Williams. We do have a caution. I don't think that was a retirement. Shouldn't be too worried. Safety cars have come out of nowhere in the past. Cyber still leads. Maggot still P2. Boinkies has got up into the third place position. Did get past Moller. Moller now down to P4. And soon he's going to have the Ferrari on his tail. Not far behind Andres. Wonder what happened there with Moller. Did he pick up damage? <clears throat> or did something just happen that broke his momentum? Spikes. It's followed by Revolution P8 and P9. That's the two Aston Martins. The Gox and P10. Final point. As you can see, the Welsh and the Toyota they are just switching positions. But those two are ghost cars. Acid Milk coming on the back of those two. He should pass them shortly. And Tiley Boy just lagging behind. 11 seconds. Obviously had some time off the circuit. Cyber still leads out front. Maggot still P2. And Boinkies was able to get past Moller, get into the top three. And since then they've actually dropped Moller. He's now one and a half seconds adrift from the top three. So he's fallen out of DRS. Let's just have a better look at that. Alfa Romeo seems to have all its end plates. I don't know what happened there, but he has lost a lot of pace. Something put him off. He just started going backwards. Went rather quickly. Let's see if he can claw back that gap or if he will continue to fall off. Cybersil leads. Maggot. He's now fallen out of DRS, 1.2 seconds. And Boinkies also 1.8 seconds away from Maggot. Top three very spread out. Now Moller coming under all sorts of pressure. 
from his fellow Ferrari powered car. Ooh, a bit of a chump there on the internet, just giving us a fright. It just looked like the two red cars were going to make contact. So gaps forming early on in the race. Let's have a look. Okay, that looks like an incredibly close battle. Because it is an incredibly close battle, but it counts for nothing. So the only DRS we have right now on circuit is Andres on Boinky, smaller on Andres. It's this DRS train here. Everybody else pretty spread out. These are the three closest drivers on circuit at the moment. If you see a time closer than that, it's the Toy and Welsh, but those are two ghost cars that are sort of stuck together. So that gap doesn't count. Closest gap is this one here. Ferrari power on Ferrari power. And ahead of them, Honda power. In the Alpha Tauri. Boinkies hasn't been able to hold on to Maggot. He's fallen back. Same goes for Maggot. He hasn't been able to hold on to Cyber. Top three now. Separated by four seconds. Very early stages in the race. Safety car would close up this field. Obviously safety cars are less likely when we start with a smaller field. So the more cars you have on track, the more likely you'll have an incident in the opening stages of the race. We haven't had any such incidents. The race has been clear as far as we know. Obviously we joined on lap 4. But I doubt there was a safety car before that. Boinkies. Andres wants the podium. And he's taking P3. He's getting tired of getting under pressure from the Alfa Romeo. Now he wants to get in front of the Alfa Tauri. Alfa Tauri's going to hold on. Hold on to that for a lot longer than I thought he would. And look at that. Gets the inside line, retakes the lead. At least third, rather. But that could have been a pass for the lead. Fantastic. Side by side, wheel to wheel racing, and then shutting the door just in time. Everyone leaving enough space, no carbon fiber flying. That's the most important part. Are losing another position now. Down to P5. Definitely had the pace in the opening stages. Not quite sure what happened. It's on the same tyre as everybody else. In fact, Cyber, man out front. Look at his tyre strategy. Not only is he the quickest man on track, he's not even on the fastest tyre. If the race were to continue like this and we don't have any safety cars, then I believe it's going to be a one pit stop strategy for everyone. Unless, obviously, people get damaged. Medium runners would probably finish on hards. Hard runners would probably finish on mediums. That being cyber. The man who's currently going fastest, without the fastest tyre, would have the faster tyre in the end stint. Gap just 2.2 seconds, so he has pulled the gap on Maggot, but Maggot's still keeping him honest. He's not able to run away at a rate of knots. Lots of love for Cyber in the comment section. Cyber leads the way. Comment section wants to see Cyber, but Cyber's all out by himself. It would be like if F1 decided to just film Max Verstappen's entire race. 
would look like a private practice session. Cyber leads can still see the Alpine in the background, Maggot. And look at that, he can barely see the McLaren, just a dot on the horizon. You need to keep that car in view. As long as that car is in view, you always find an extra tenth. Once you can't see your opponent, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Andres in P3, still holding on now to that podium. Boinke is just behind him. Muller now doesn't seem to be going backwards anymore. Seems to now have found his rhythm. Holding on nicely to P5 and he's got a comfortable lead over Essa in P6. Cyber out front, 2.8 seconds. A little further back, got Chums in P7, Revolution P8. This is Gox, also having a bit of a lonely race. Spikes in P10, then the two coast cars. And we have Tiley Boy, Acid Milk and Rockstar at the back of the field but at the front of the field only that man there Cyber leads the way 3 seconds now the gap just see the McLaren there he goes Gwenkis in P3 now Moller Moller has climbed up into P4 as a result of a pit stop. A pit stop by Andres. I think that would be one of the first medium runners to stop. Where does he come out? Comes out in P9. What's good for these drivers is we've seen in so many recent races that we've had multiple safety cars. Three, four, sometimes even five. And what that does is the gaps aren't able to form so sometimes you make a pit stop you come out right at the rear of the field Andres came out in P9 a relatively clear racetrack in front of him they shouldn't have any problems with traffic and as, as all those other medium runners pit around him he will then obviously make up some positions and hopefully he rolled the dice just correctly and he gets an undercut on a few of them Cyber's not going to pit anytime soon remember he started on the hard tyre gonna go longer in the race than all of these drivers behind him Maggot, Poinky, Smola, Essa, Chums, Revolution and Gotti all on, on medium tyres not intermediates it would be interesting if they were on intermediates I think that's a race we should have. We should force everybody on the wet. Choose a desert circuit. And let's see what happens. I think it could be fun. Cyber still out front. 3.6 seconds. So he keeps on increasing that gap. Now at a rate of almost half a second a lap. Maggot P2. Boinkies P3. And now he's coming up under pressure from Moller. Remember Muller had the pace in the beginning of the race, then suddenly dropped, started dropping down the field, started going the way he didn't want to go. But now, just seems to be coming back. He's coming back at Boinke, he's just three tenths of a second, four tenths of a second between those two. He's going to be in DRS and he's going to be thinking about it. Back to this fight for the final podium position. Muller looking for a way past. Of course he was in a podium position. Then he went down to P5. Got back to P4 as Andres made that pit stop. And now he peels off into the pits. 
Poinky stays out. Maggot stays out. Interesting to see who's coming in first, who's rolling the dice first. Cyber still stays out. Give me a idea there in the comment section what's the life on the hard tire. How far can it go? Lap 17, 18? Further than that? I have no idea. So let me know in the comment section. Three point seven seconds out front, three point eight, almost four seconds now approaching. Boinky's in third place, but now he's got a bit of clean air behind him and ahead of him. He can sigh. Breathe a sigh of relief. He's been in close battles throughout the race. First time he can just look in his mirrors and see nothing but tarmac. Andres up into P5. Remember, he was the first of those medium runners to pit. He will then have the hard, the oldest hard tyres at the end of the race. So he may have to do a bit of tyre management at the end of the race. But I wonder if he's going to get the undercut. And if he does get the undercut on how many cars is that undercut going to work? Now Maggot into the pits, your P2 runner. Surely Boinkies will follow suit. Yes, he does. Where is Revolution? Revolution still a little further back. He's going around the final corner. Will he react to the cars ahead of him? Yes, he does. So P2, P3, P4, all into the pits. All medium runners and presumably all going on to the hard compound. Fastest lap for Andres. He's doing the fastest laps at the right time when everybody else is stationary in the pits. And... That is a brilliant undercut. Andres comes out in P... Well, Andres is in P2 after the first round of pit stops. Say the first round of pit stops. There's still a few drivers further back. Also on 13 lap old mediums. Seems like Welsh taking the mediums longer than anybody else in the race. He's now going to do 14 laps on those mediums. Cyber leads. That gap 22 seconds. Remember that's because everybody else has made a pit stop. Cyber started on the hard compound so he didn't need to make a pit stop. He's going to go a little later on into the race. When he does pit, he should come out in the lead. What is the total pit stop loss here should be a minimum of 20 seconds it's got 22 should be just enough to come out in the lead but it's going to be a lot closer than I thought it would very well timed undercut for Andres he'll just be hoping that he doesn't have to do serious tyre management in the closing laps Andres is in P2, that gap 22.2 seconds now. This is a good opportunity for him. He's on the same compound as the leader. The leader has 15 lap old lap tires, he has 4 lap old tires. So he does have the superior tire to the leader. He can close this gap, and if he can close this gap within 20 seconds, well, theoretically, he should be ahead of Cyber when Cyber comes out of the pits. That because he's saying 20 seconds in the pits. So currently, if that calculation is spot on, then Cyber should still come out of the pits with a two second gap. And as I say that, you can see that theoretical two second gap coming down 21 seconds now. So if Andres can close that gap to within 20 seconds and you can see Cyber reacting to it I'm sure Cyber was looking at that gap that gap was going the wrong way and he said it's time comes into the pits surely for a set of mediums yes and we're back underway where is P2 where is Andres he's on the pit straight he's behind a Red Bull 
sorry, but he's actually done it. Andres just ahead. That was very close. Andres is in the lead now, but for how much longer will he be able to hold on to the lead? Remember now the tables have turned completely. Andres will be on the five lap bold hard. And Cyber has a brand new set of mediums. So he's been doing all those laps on the slowest compound of tyre. And now he's got the quicker compound to finish off the race. Things are going to get really close now right at the front. Remember, Andres leads the way, but look at that gap. Just six tenths of a second. Brand new mediums. Versus relatively new hards. And there should be no question. It's going to be very difficult for the Ferrari to do anything to keep that McLaren behind. As for Maggot, he'll want those two in front of him to battle so he can try and catch up. He's fallen adrift of the top two. And look at these two. Gearbox to front wing. You couldn't get any closer than that. Almost looked like those cars were attached. And now DRS moves to the inside to defend. Can't go more than that. Need to allow the space. And the McLaren gets through nicely before turn one. And Andres isn't even going to be able to come back at him. Those medium tyres, now that he's got clean air ahead of him. really going to be able to stretch his legs and as you can see he's already gone purple in sector one the faster sector one of tonight in the race and I think a faster slap is on the way a little further back maggot p3 moller p4 Boinkies making up the top five. Then we've got Essa, Chums, Revolution, Gox, and Spikes taking the final points. And then outside the points so far, we've also got Tiley Boy. Then we've got the two Ghost Cars. And then Acid Milk and Rockstar. Gap at the front, 1.2 seconds. Cyber pulling away. As would be expected, we saw his pace on the first stint, and that was with the slower compound of tyre. Now with the quicker compound of tyre, there's no reason why he should not pull off into the distance. That's the fastest lap of the race, 32.3 I think it was. Disappeared off the screen before I finished reading it. Boinkies. Now finding himself in a quiet spot of the race. Car ahead two seconds, car behind two seconds. Lap 19 of 29. Halfway distance has come and gone. Andres not able to keep up with that McLaren at all. Those medium tyres. He's enjoying those medium tyres and it's the optimal time to have the faster compound. Obviously you can choose to start on the faster compound, finish on the faster compound. But if you finish on the faster compound, your car's a lot lighter. want to keep everyone in the comment section as happy as I can a lot of you are asking for cyber you want to see more of cyber I got a complaint last week that I don't show enough of the midfield so uh, trying to keep my eye on everything but as you can see there's there's no DRS battles throughout the circuit cyber leads the way the gap is 4.1 seconds maggot p2 Moller P3, no real battles on track for now, Boinkies P4, then we got Essa P5, 
Look at that, all of these cars on their own. Andres P6, Chums P7, Revolution P8, Gox P9 and Spikes making up the top 10. And none of those cars I just mentioned are in a battle. Closest cars engaged in battles are, are ghost cars. Cyber, 4.4 seconds. I don't see anybody clawing that gap back. Look behind him. He's got the medium compound. The next eight cars are all on the hard compound. I just don't see how anybody could claw him back unless he went off track or got some damage. It's his race to lose. Just needs to keep the car pointing in the right direction. And so far he's doing everything exceptionally right. I hate it when the car just jolts to the right there for a second. I'm like, wait, what? I thought he was going into the pits. Insanity. Lap 21 of 29. Four and a half seconds at the front. Then 1.6 seconds between Maggot and Moller. 20's P4, we have a caution in sector 1. Everyone seems to be on the move, so don't think we need to worry about that. There we go, it disappears. Disqualified from the session, Tidy Boy parked in a dangerous location. So I wonder what happened there. Maybe just went off circuit and then while waiting for cars to go by, just stayed stationary for a little too long. Still have a yellow sector one. Cyber leads 4.3 seconds, Maggot P2. Every time Cyber sees that yellow caution, he'll jump. That's the last thing he wants. He doesn't want a safety car at this stage. Cancel out this gap. Everyone behind him would definitely dive in and get soft. Safety car would really mix things up, but I think this could be the first night in a very long time, and we're not going to get one. If you guys wanted a race with no safety car, you've got a race with no safety car, and look at those gaps. We do have a fight, it's a fight for P4. Essa versus Boinkies. Same tire compound, similar age, just one lap difference. Boinkies having one lap superiority on his tire. Don't know how much that will help him. Depends how hard you drive the tire. Cyber out front, Maggot P2, almost 5 seconds now the gap, Moller P3, that gap continuing to grow, 2.5 seconds, so the podium runners definitely not getting any closer together, Boinkies in P4, it's the first of the drivers there on the list that's feeling a bit of pressure, it's coming under pressure from Essa, Andres all on his own in P6, Chums all on his own in P7, is that car ghosting? I think that car is ghosting. I think we might start to see chums falling down the order. Gox P9, Spikes P10, final point. It's actually been there for quite some time. We've got two penalties. It's a three second penalty for Acid Milk and six seconds worth of penalties for Rockstar. Those are Track infringements, going over the line a few too many times. Said that gap was almost five seconds, it's now surpassed five seconds. Almost five and a half seconds. It's taking chunks out of, of time out of those hard runners. 
Not too many position changes. Essa has done a good job. He's picked up five positions. Revolution four. Acid Milk also four. Everybody else picking up one or losing one or staying in the same position. It's been a very eventful race. We had some great battles in the beginning. Here we go, I was back in the final prize for some reason. McLaren from Alpine, from Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri. Way too many A's. Then Essa for, for the second McLaren. So that's the only team there that's got two cars in the top five. So that's good news for the points for McLaren tonight. Drivers' Championship so far, or rather the Constructors' Championship so far. AlphaTauri leads the way on 40 points. This would be a great result for McLaren. They've only got two points in that Constructors' Championship. So this would be a great boost for their Constructors' aspirations. As for the Constructors' leaders, one of the cars unfortunately booted from the session very early on. That car's been ghosting around outside the points. The other one is Boinky Season P4. Cyber leads the way, 6.3 seconds. Maggot, Moller, Boinkies. Essa, everything remaining the same for now. Andres P6, Revolution P7. Cops, it's Cox, Chums and Spikes. 8, 9 and 10. No changes in the order. 3 second time penalty for Acid Milk. I think that's going to... Push him up to 6 seconds, along with Rockstar. Yeah, Pantry Star, I see that. Chum's also ghosting, I don't know if he's still ghosting. Yes he is, so he still hasn't recovered that car. We can get in that car and just salvage some points. For Acid Milk, could actually get some unexpected points hasn't had the best race but if chums keeps on going backwards cyber at the front 6.8 6.6 seconds maggot moller order remaining the same boinkies I think the only way we're going to have a change in the order is somebody makes a big mistake. Things look messy there, but they're not. Those are just ghost cars. Nothing to be concerned about. Cyber can just get through. One thing he does have a little advantage of is those ghost cars would have given him DRS. It's a little boost. Let's see if he maybe goes quicker through sector one. Sometimes that little boost of DRS can bring out a faster slap. Nothing Maggot can do. He's able to hold on to P2, but he's not able to do anything about that lead. Gap keeps on growing. Obviously those mediums will eventually drop off. Then the better tyre to be on will be the hard. But I just don't think there's going to be enough time for that to be the switch over.
Essa keeping that second McLaren in the top five. Vital for the constructors. The Tauri champion constructors leaders. Just with the one car in the points. As far as the driver's championship goes, your championship leader is not in the points and he's not in the race. Obviously we've just had the one round prior to this. Still very early days. Lots can happen. Remember it is a shortened season. So you really can't miss too many races. Six point nine between Cyber and Maggot. More or less still comfortable in P3. One lap 27 of 29, so we're in the safety zone. We're not, we can't get any safety cars. And unless somebody makes a big mistake, I don't really foresee a difference in the order. I think we will finish this way. Everybody just needs to keep their car pointing in the right direction. See now Maggot has caught those ghost cars. Cyber starts lap 28 of 29. Not long to go now. This Rockstar, he's on the other side of the grid. He's in P14. Almost. Is that a minute down? He's a minute down. He's in P14 and he's got some penalties next to his name. Last time we checked, it was 6 seconds. Now 9 seconds, Acid Milk has 6 seconds. So both of them have picked up another penalty since the last time we checked, but they are the only two drivers. And they both have big gaps behind them, so those penalties won't affect their finishing positions. Boinkies. We didn't see that, but Boinkies has been passed. So Essa up into P4, and that's even better for McLaren. Great night for McLaren so far. They didn't have a great night in round one. We saw they just picked up the two points for that round. And now they're correcting the wrongs of the past. Two cars in the top four. Where is Essa in comparison to P3? He's 2.3 seconds down the road. And I just don't think he's going to have the time. Needs to rely on a mistake from the car in front. His time is definitely not on his side. Essa starting the final lap. 2.5 seconds is going to be too far to get a podium. There's someone up front picked up a late penalty. Ooh, Cyber just getting out of shape. He's done everything right tonight. Unfortunately, we missed qualifying. We had issues with the stream. We were able to get it back up. Just two or three laps into the race. But since we did get the stream going... We've seen great driving from the McLaren. We haven't seen any mistakes. Briefly went down into second place. But Andres wasn't able to hold on to that. And what a race it's been. No safety cars. No retirement. Just the one disqualification. It's been pretty simple pickings. Cyber over the line in P1. We now wait for Maggot. 
There we go. He comes over the line, takes the checkered flag. 4P2 picks up the 18 points. And then Moller. Final podium position goes over the line. SFP4. The cars at the back there, they've been lapped so they won't have to do another lap. Oinkies P5. And then we wait for the Ferrari and Revolution actually coming over the line pretty close together but Andres holding on to P6 Revolution P7 we got Gox coming over the line slowly by himself in P8 doesn't want to go too slowly Spikes P9 and he's followed closely by Chums for the final point Spikes spent a lot of that race in P10 with the single point so he'll be happy to get up into P9 and double that some two points for the evening and a lot of support in the comment section for cyber and it's easy to see why what a great drive that was managed everything perfectly when the gap started falling to Andres he saw the gap falling he reacted to it went into the pits came out at just the right time and that tire ensured his victory. You see things could have been very different if we had safety cars here and there. But that's what happens in a race with no safety cars. Your strategy works out and you drive consistently. It looks something like that. Your official results for the race. Cyber taking the victory. He also took the fastest lap 32.3 that means he's going to take the extra points so 26 points on the night then Maggot in P2 for Alpine we've got Moller in P3 Esser P4 Boinkies P5 Andres P6 Revolution P7 Cox P8 Spikes P9 and Chums taking the final point no points tonight, Acid Milk coming very close, P11, and then I think the rest were ghost cars. Wells was a ghost car, the toy was a ghost car, not sure what was happening with Rockstar. And Tidy Boy was not a DNF, it was a disqualification. So that was SAFRL Tier 2 on a Wednesday night. I do apologize for the problems in qualifying but at least we did get most of the race in thank you all for joining us we will be back tomorrow night with DRS and I think that yes DRS in Brazil so I'll see you tomorrow night and if not we'll be back on Sunday night with SKR so thanks everybody for joining thanks for all the support on the channel and all the interaction in the comment section but until next time Cheers.